Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dino Lally. Today we're coming to you from the Round Barn in Arcadia. Located on Route 66, this icon is an Oklahoma landmark. Built in 1898, the barn was, of course, originally built to house livestock, but workers convinced the owner to add a floor to the top part of the barn where dances were held. Today, it's home to some of the most unique music in the state. We'll show you around throughout the show. But first, here's a fun way to kick off fall in Oklahoma. As the sun sets on summer, there's always fun to be had at Oklahoma State Parks. And now you can enjoy some fun on the water with just a few clicks on a website. Being out on the lake, it creates a sense of freedom and, of course, fun. You can see its raw beauty and power. With its sometimes spectrum of colors, lakes show off some of the most fascinating elements of water. But instead of a speeding boat, how about the relaxing cadence of a kayak? And renting a kayak has never been easier thanks to a new system. The kayaks are rentable uh, online. So whether you have your computer at home, a tablet, or on the road, if you get here in your RV and you come down here and you have uh, an iPhone or something that has internet access, you can rent your kayak and schedule it right now, right here. So it's all online system. Just log on to paddleez.com, select the park from which you want to rent a kayak, and then follow the very easy prompts. You should have your kayak rented after about seven clicks. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's just like when you uh, get it, they send you a code and you unlock it and everything and then you lock everything back up and in an hour's time you bring it back and you punch the codes in and everything and you uh, lock it back up and it's secure just like it was. So yes, once you select your time, you will get a code. You will use that code to access the equipment. It really is that easy, but you can also use other devices to make that reservation. So it was actually was super convenient. So just got on our phone and uh, got the code and then we came out here and punched the code in and we could get the equipment and just go and it was, it was really easy, it was awesome. Made it really, really nice. It was super easy. I did it on my laptop right after class and it was just 18 bucks an hour. So you can like throw a few people in the car, just head down here, the equipment's all already out, punch in the code you got online and then you're good to go. Kayaking is a sport that has been riding a high tide of popularity for the last few years. We're seeing a lot of people kayak and paddleboard in this area. And this is a great cove for that because it blocks the south wind, which we have a lot of. And even today, it's a good south wind, but we got a calm waters right here in this cove. And kayaking's really picked up in the last several years out here, and it's a lot of fun. Kayaking's awesome. Um, you just kind of get out there, and you can get in your element and relax. And it's, it's usually pretty quiet, and you know, you got the breeze and the sun, and just if you like being on the water and being outdoors, it's, it's great. Good workout, too. I really like how easy kayaking is. It's easy to pick up or you know, growing up, my family had a boat and lake days are a huge ordeal. Getting the boat on the trailer, loading it up, getting it out here. This is a lot more easy to do. You can do it on impulse. If you just decide for the afternoon you want to get out on the water, this is a really easy way to do it. As of right now, there are four state parks where you can use the new kayak reserve system. Osage Hills State Park, Great Salt Plains State Park, Foss State Park, and Great Plains State Park. Now the cost to rent a kayak is around $18 an hour. Helmets are not provided, but life vests are, and everyone is required to wear them. It appears the easy to use reservation system for your kayak gets a thumbs up from everyone. If you're ready to rent a kayak, just go online to paddleeasy.com. Then select one of the four Oklahoma State Parks listed, Foss, Great Plains, Great Salt Plains, or Osage Hills. Follow the prompts to reserve your date and make a payment. And of course, the cooler temperatures of fall give way to another Oklahoma tradition. Oklahoma is home to many Native American powwows, many of them held in the fall months. We took a trip to Ponca City to Standing Bear Park Museum and Education Center, where they're celebrating Native American history year round. As you drive along Highway 60 in Ponca City, you can see the towering statue of Standing Bear. And if you turn off of the highway, you'll find even more at the Standing Bear Park Museum and Education Center. They're going to experience a, an outdoor interpretive center uh, they're out in the park in addition to a 22-foot bronze statue. And then inside in the museum, uh, there are exhibits that represent the six area tribes and exhibits of artwork and sculpture and paintings, any number of things. 
When you enter the museum, you'll be immersed in Oklahoma's Native American history, specifically the six area tribes. The rotunda has display cases for each of the six area tribes. Um, they have decided what they want in those display cases, so they're very different. Some have artwork, some have uh, photographs, um, it just varies. And then also in the rotunda is an unusual collection of artwork, and those are the tribal seals that have been done in bronze, and they have a third dimension to them that we don't typically see when we see those seals. So this is the only place you can go to see that collection. Off of the rotunda, you will find an art gallery full of pieces by some of the most famous Native American artists, many of them from Oklahoma. In the art gallery, we have a collection of paintings that starts with ledger-style art, comes right on around to contemporary artists working today. We're thrilled to have a collection that encompasses some of the most well-known Native artists of their time. Another gallery hosts traveling and permanent exhibits, and there's also an education room where classes and conferences are hosted. You can also book the room for your special event. In the education room, there's a collection of paintings that tells the story of the trial of Standing Bear. And these are the paintings that were done by Mike Wimmer when former Governor Frank Keating wrote his book, The Trial of Standing Bear. And so we have the original paintings here. After you peruse the gallery, be sure to take a stroll through the walking trails to learn more about each area tribe. Each of those same six tribes who are represented in the rotunda uh, are represented on that walking trail. They each have a viewing court and they can tell pieces of their story there through artwork, recordings, there are audio posts there. Rich in history and Native American heritage, the Standing Bear Park, Museum, and Education Center hopes to leave a legacy with those who visit. Well, our mission is about education. There are a lot of differences between not just the tribes, but between the Native culture and the non-Native culture. And uh, it's never our intent to make all of those seem the same, but to offer the opportunity for people to not only learn about, but to enjoy those things that are different about us. And if we can learn to enjoy those differences, then um, we've made a big step toward bridging that gap between the cultures. The Standing Bear Pow Wow takes place on the museum grounds in Ponca City next weekend, September 28th and 29th. This free event is open to the public and is considered one of the most significant American Indian events in the United States. The grand entry starts at 7 p.m. both nights. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. It just screamed Route 66 souvenir shop. Oh yes it does. We'll show you what's new along the old mother road. It's just a nice little hole in the wall that the food tastes great. And we've got a line on a must-stop burger shop. I have people traveling all the time and they'll say, Oklahoma people are just friendly, down-to-earth people. Plus the friendly shop that will hook you up with the latest in Western wear. It's all coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. The Oklahoma Department of Agritourism salutes Happy Day Pumpkin Patch in Terrell, a great place for fall fun. Create your ultimate Oklahoma bucket list with this year's free Oklahoma travel guide. Discover captivating culture, heart-pounding adventure, ultimate relaxation. This bucket list can't be missed. Order yours free today at TravelOK.com. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the historic Round Barn in Arcadia, right along Route 66. And if you follow this historic highway up towards Tulsa, you'll find the perfect place for a Route 66 shopping trip. It appears Jason Grubbs had a really good time checking out this next location. It's rather unique. Come along with us now to Buck Adams in Tulsa. Just east of downtown Tulsa along Route 66 and right across the street from the iconic Meadow Gold sign is a renovated 1950s Pimco gas station, now called Buck Adams Cosmic Curios. It just screamed Route 66 souvenir shop. So that's exactly what Mary Beth Babcock did. Buck is a fictional character from her creative mind, and he's got a backstory. Buck used to rodeo up and down Route 66 back in the 50s, and he was pulled up by a space rocket, and he's been zooming back and forth on, in the ether. He's now found a new home on this stretch of the Mother Road and serves as a mascot for this must-stop shop. 
Yes! Stop at Buck Adams Cosmic Curios on 66. There are postcards and stickers, keychains, coffee mugs, and t-shirts galore. The ink is actually reflective, so if the light hits it, so we did it just like one of the, the Route 66 signs. Along with beautiful prints from several Route 66 icons. But we also have fine jewelry that's done by local artists that is, you know, the Route 66 shield with turquoise. So really putting a lot of thought into some, some special pieces. Some of the edible items are made locally. In fact, just up the street at Pop House Popsicle and Big Dipper Creamery. Check out this colorful fence flanking each side of the building. This Route 66 masterpiece was done by a local group and it is the perfect place for a selfie. Get all the photos you want, but before you leave, make sure to yes, pin, your pin your place. So anytime somebody travels through, we always have them sign our guest book here and then pin where they're from. We've already had people from China, France, Germany, Scotland, Ireland, UK, not to mention dozens of U.S. cities. On Route 66 in Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. You'll find Buck Adams at 1347 East 11th Street in Tulsa. They're open Tuesday through Saturday 10 to 530 and Sundays 11 to 3. They are closed on Mondays. No drive on the Mother Road or anywhere else for that matter is complete without a great road trip meal. And Tiffany Tastro found one for us. Let's head over to the Tasty Burger in Choctaw. Tasty Burger is one of the oldest restaurants in Choctaw. And while some things have changed through the years, their delicious burgers have stayed the same. Since 1976, Tasty Burger has been family owned. It's got my mom, my grandma, my daughter, and me. So we got four generations working here. The Choctaw Diner has become a staple in the community, staying true to its name and serving tasty burgers. We're famous for our onion fried. Everybody loves onion fried burgers. Another favorite, the hickory burger, made with shredded cheese, hickory sauce, mayo, pickles, and onions. But it's not just the burgers people love. Folks come in for the sides, like the Philly cheese fries. They're um, Philly steak with grilled onions and a homemade cheese sauce on top of fries. Very good. Everything at Tasty Burger is made to order. We're not fast food, so everything is fresh. Um, our meat's fresh, our fries are fresh. The portion size also keeps customers happy. Oh, it's great. It's almost too much, I guess. <laughs> it, you can definitely share some things, so that's nice. But it's that small town, family owned atmosphere that keeps people coming back. It's just a nice little hole in the wall that the food tastes great and they're always very friendly and very helpful. So the next time you are craving a tasty burger, head to Choctaw. You won't be disappointed. In Choctaw, Tiffany Tatro, Discover Oklahoma. Here's what you need to know before you go. Tasty Burger is not open on weekends. Grab your burger Mondays, 1030 to 3 p.m., or they're open the rest of the week till 8. You'll find them at the corner of Indian Meridian Road and Southeast 29th in Choctaw. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Meatballs. People love the meatballs. The Italian place so good they've doubled in size. Some chaps, spurs, a helmet. It, there's Everything's here. And the spot where you can shop for the most authentic Western wear, still ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. This portion of Discover Oklahoma is brought to you by the inaugural Oklahoma Book Festival. Take part on October the 20th in the Oklahoma City Boathouse District. Want to discover even more about the show? Go online and watch Discover Oklahoma anywhere, anytime. Catch up on missed episodes, track down interesting locations, and submit your own story ideas. Start exploring today at discoveroklahomatv.com. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from an Oklahoma landmark, the historic Round Barn in Arcadia. You don't have to imagine too hard what the folks might have been wearing when they first built this barn. Most likely cowboy hats and boots, mm -hmm. and that's still a part of Oklahoma style a hundred years later. Photojournalist Casey Kennedy takes us to a spot where even the most traditional cowboy would love to shop. Let's go visit Paul's Western Wear in Henrietta. <laughs> I have people traveling all the time and they'll say, Oklahoma people are just friendly, down-to-earth people. 
And I think the city of Henrietta is like that. It's a Western lifestyle. And the matter of fact, the motto of Henrietta is Cowboy Capital of the World because we have a lot of world champions that have come from here. In 1970, we were looking for, my dad and mom, Paul and Melba West, was looking for some kind of business to open up. There was a small western store on Main Street called Dudley's that was going out of business. So we decided that we would buy them out and open up our store. Daddy worked at Gold Kiss Peanut Company in Oak Mulgee and was a farmer rancher, so we always had horses and we were just interested in that lifestyle. I remember telling my dad, what would be better than a Western store? All you do is go shopping at the market and then you just visit with your friends and your customers. If you stop at a big city store, they're more oriented towards city people. They don't have the true Western lifestyle that we carry, that we've always carried. It's just like roper boots. That was the thing that came out in 1970. We still carry roper boots. A lot of people don't. We still believe in the old fashioned way, friendly, personal service. We have uh, several booths. We have probably over 5,000 booths in inventory, but we special order for people so they don't have to go to Tulsa or Oklahoma City. We have, uh, I do alterations while you wait. I do hand creasing of hats. But they usually want their brim done something different, their own personal taste. So you just steam it and just kind of bend it around. Hand creasing hats, there's not very many people that even know how to do that anymore. There's not very many mom and pop stores left. Just about everything has become chain stores, internet, so we have to do a little extra something to keep people to come in here. We have very few selections of shopping around town, so yeah, this is where, you know, we have a lot of people come, a lot of people, um, even from smaller towns around, come here to shop. We have a lot of jeans. We carry Miss Me jeans, all different brands of jeans, shirts. Um, I mean, what I'm wearing right now, I have everything I have on from here, so. We have a lot of community folks that have shopped with us for years. Uh, now we're waiting on their grandchildren. They'll say, well, we come in here with our mother or our grandmother when we were just little kids. Of course, we're right on Highway 75, so we do have a lot of uh, stop-in traffic, too. My grandpa and my grandma brought me here all the time because I rodeoed. So I'd get my rodeo shirts here and all my Western attire. I rope, so I get my breakaway ropes here. Um, I know Drysdale's and stuff like that don't carry ropes and stuff like that. There's different kinds and different weight styles and um, my certain style is I like a heavy rope so I know exactly which one I need here. Now, there are saddles here and there's pads, there's everything you would need to be able to ride. Some chaps, spurs, a helmet, it, there's everything's here. I think that it's, it's a way of life that we shouldn't lose. You know, I know that everybody likes to go to Tulsa and go out to eat and go buy a West, big Western store, you know, but you need to think about that if you don't support businesses like mine and other ones like that in your local communities, they won't be there someday. Paul's Western Wear is located at 2001 North Highway 75 in Henrietta. They're open six days a week, 9.30 to 5.30, closed on Sundays. Up next on Discover Oklahoma, it's the butteriest, freshest pasta I've ever tasted, and I am a pasta lover. Some of the best Italian food in the state will show you where when Discover Oklahoma continues. Great travel tips anytime. Like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Set a course for excitement with your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. It's your all-in-one handbook for outdoor inspiration. Cabins, campsites, healthy lodges, breathtaking adventures, and so much more. Order yours at TravelOK.com. Well, we have enjoyed our time here at the Round Barn in Arcadia. Yes, we have. And while we sure do like a little bit of Oklahoma history, there's nothing we love more than a made-from-scratch meal. It's time to head to Norman for another family success story. It's dinner time at Gabarino's Homestyle Italian Restaurant. Even though Gabarino's changed locations, don't worry, one thing hasn't changed, and that's their flavorful food and great service. Their top sellers remain. Meatballs, people love the meatballs, mm -hmm. and then uh, chicken parmesan, popular. And one item was added through a devoted customer idea. And then I had a customer come in that said, I eat here once a week, but if you have manicotti, I'll eat here three times a week. And I was like, and it was one of my personal favorites when I went to eat at an Italian restaurant. And so I was like, we should do manicotti. We already do lasagnas. We already have the fresh pasta sheets. You just cut them and stuff them with cheese and basil and 
roll them up and then you can add whatever your sauce you want to them. And so we started doing that and now we can't hardly make it out. Gavarino's original location seated 105. Now they can accommodate 275. There's a separate event room for meetings and a very comfortable patio. And then we have a full bar now. So that's been fun getting to know and learn in that, that area of the restaurant business. Um, and making some fun Italian drinks with kind of, there's a, there's a whole slew of Italian liqueurs that are, um, have been around a long time, but they go in and out of vogue. But right now they're starting to become a, you know, trendy again. Moving to the new, bigger venue means they are now making three times the amount of food. So the increased working space in the kitchen has been a very welcome to change. And it's just more of everything, more ovens, more burners, more refrigeration. And uh, instead of now two of us up there cooking a lunch, you know, there's four of us. And then we have to have different people doing less things. You know, now instead of one person doing five or six different things, now we have to have yeah, one person stations. on salads, one person one on person pasta, on. one person on the oven, one person on appetizers and pizzas. So yeah, getting all those to jive is probably the trickiest part, is getting the timing to work out just so and communicating between the different stations as to what's going out when. According to customers, that timing has been exceptional so far. One couple saw the recent show, We Shop from Gabarino's. Yes, we saw it on uh, Discover Oklahoma and that's what made us decide to come and check it out. I had the uh, shrimp scampi with linguine noodles and that was good, real good. What were your overall impressions of coming here for the first time? Very good, I, I have never been here before and I enjoyed it, I enjoyed the food real good, good tasting. And you will come back? Yes, I will. Gavarino's has loyal customers and they are all happy the restaurant has reopened. And I like the new, um, it's bigger, it's more spacious. But it always comes back to the quality of the food. Gabarino's food has the butteriest, freshest pasta I've ever tasted. And I am a pasta lover. The food here is very um, authentic and very um, tasteful. I had the rigatoni with uh, marinara sauce and I also had the tomato basil soup, and I liked both of them, and the tomato basil soup it was excellent. Gabarino's still serves excellent food, and they call the restaurant home style for a reason. As Laura also explains, the photos of her family on the wall, well, they give her inspiration. Yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a good feeling. Since their pictures are on the walls, I'm reminded of our roots, but I definitely feel supported by my ancestors and current family and then I enjoy being reminded of them when I'm walking around the restaurant and seeing their pictures on the wall. We never want to lose the homemade, the home style oh. atmosphere. And this sign brings it all home. You'll find Gabarino's on Ed Noble Parkway in Norman. You can get there from Main Street or Lindsay Street exits. They're open 1130 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday, closed on Sunday. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the new Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. All you have to do is log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A huge thank you to the great folks here at the Round Barn for hosting us this week. This can't miss landmark is on Route 66 in Arcadia. They're open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. There's no charge for admission, but they do accept donations to help with the upkeep of this historic building. Coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, the legendary round barn in Arcadia, live music and audience participation will show you how these all go together. And we're getting in a little rock climbing indoors. It's all coming up next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. <laughs>